a new study has identified yet another benefit of keeping up your exercise routine. In experiments performed with mice, researchers found that exercising prior to developing cancer was associated with slower tumor growth and helped reduce the effects of a cancer complication known as wasting syndrome or coccyxia. Coccyxia is a metabolic wasting disorder that affects up to 80% of patients with advanced cancer and is associated with about a third of all deaths from cancer. People with coccyxia experience severe progressive muscle wasting, a decline in heart structure and function, and an overall poorer quality of life. Most exercise, especially aerobic exercise, is easily accessible and affordable. Therefore, engaging in consistent aerobic exercise such as running is a cost-effective way to reduce the risk of cancer and cancer complications. Previous research has shown that exercise could have anti-inflammatory effects and might positively impact cancer coccyxia by slowing its development and preserving cardiac structure and function. However, very few studies have focused on preconditioning. For the new study, the researchers studied mice that either exercised on a treadmill for 8 weeks or did not perform any exercise. After the 8 weeks, the researchers induced cancer in some of the exercised mice and some sedentary mice while keeping some mice from both groups cancer-free to act as controls. The researchers found that mice with cancer and a sedentary lifestyle had poorer heart function as measured with echocardiography than the mice that exercised prior to cancer induction. Also, mice in the exercise group had a smaller tumor volume and a 60% smaller tumor mass than mice in the sedentary group. The researchers are working to understand the underlying proteins and pathways that are affected by cancer and exercise so that this information can be used to inform exercise interventions. They also point out that creating safe and effective exercise interventions for cancer patients would require evaluating the best intensity, duration, and timing of exercise in preclinical models before moving to studies in people.